where's Abdul? And the person responded, oh, he's over there doing that dually dancing. It's a concert and commercial arts entertainment entity. You know, that my objective is to have collaborators, creative and artistic, who I develop these works with, conceive of the ideas, they are thought partners in the whole Dually duels. They are these two aspects of my personality, creative energy, that create the choreographic movement and the composed music that is the foundation. I also love to watch, you know, people dance and watch the place that they go into when they're dancing. And it's so interesting because there's a full experience of them living when you're there watching. There was this ongoing constant evolution with a greater, deeper understanding of not short-circuiting service that I'm supposed to be responsible for sharing back. And that is to take my examinations and to put them on view, to exhibit, so that you too may have an opportunity to self-examine. There is this feeling in it for me that is rooted around a sense of street and sophistication. What you see is the purity and essence of of Abdul Latif, of Dooley Duels, of this Dooley dancing, this, this urban contemporary style of, of uh, movement choreography that has a curbside chic sensibility, as I call it. You know? I like to see sort of the intersection of what seems gritty and glamorous, you know, like how do those things intermix? Or stylizing that also has a, an insertion of subway energy. And what I mean by subway energy is the hustle and the bustle of, of life in a metropolis. The, the odd and strange nuances. Finding the balance. Images the are income. also capturing movement. When you look at positions of bodies, like what it's exuding, to me, the purpose of what I do in, in my creative outlook, perspective, material, is to try to connect generations. There's stories of old that aren't finished being told. There's an essential vitality in the stories that have been written and have been told that they continue to find a new way of reaching people. I don't feel I've done my job successfully if after seeing my work, a person talks to me about the specifics of a moment, choreographically or artistically, it's talking to me about your experience of the person that I got a chance to create the work with and on and for, in a way. Your experience of them, if I can help you and that person have a connection, if you're sitting in the house and they're on the stage and you are experiencing them in the way that I've had a chance to foresee they can be experienced and envision them being able to share themselves, if that comes together, then that's the service that I was supposed to do.